Okay, so <laughs> Bancho, whenever I listen to you, whenever you know I have question or like we all have question in this community, the Lotus Festival in that group. And I just do not have words to appreciate the way so nicely, you know, you just make things so easy for everyone. And, you know, seeing that, <laughs> I feel, I think, I don't know how long it's going to take, you know, for me, how long time is going to be that I can be at some level. Because somewhere I feel, I feel so confused at times. For so many things and all and everything every word you you know just you shared with us today is like excellent and this so helpful because here's the life and because before that i am following people you know into coaching and everything since a long time like two three years at least and i never felt connected the reason was because i believe somewhere that life is not a race you just have to, and you just, life is not even a red race more, which I see people. And for me, life is that I need to choose what I feel happy doing and what I am capable of doing and where I feel that I need to improve and whatever challenges I have been through and whatever solutions I found myself. So those are the things I feel like helping others, but yes, the Gap is like how to connect. Um. So one thing, uh, first of all, how to connect, you have all the trainings you need. You already have all the trainings yeah. in the background. You are already doing what you need to do, right? At the same time, about the confusion part, I would want to bring up something. Um, here's a transparency. I felt a lot confused in those months. The, the months I mentioned in January to uh, May month this year, I, I had a lot of like the business was down. My health was very down. I felt very confused. Now I look back, I can make any meaning out of it. Like whatever I'm choosing to make it mean, I can see there was a lot of alignment happening at that time in my life. Right. But at that time, I felt like more of a being in a cocoon and being, being in cocoon before you become a butterfly, being in cocoon is a lot messy. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's very messy and it's very dirty. It's very closed compartments, and uh, that's what being in cocoon is being very confused, being yeah. restrained to a very small part. But that's also the place where you grow. So, I believe confusion is confusion means you have a couple of options, by the way. Confusion means that it's not that you don't know anything. It's that probably you know a lot of things and you might want to slow down. But at the yeah. same time, confusion means um, you're trying something new. You're trying to do something that hasn't been done by most people. That's what we coaches are doing right now. So it's scary. Cocoon is very so true. Cocoon is a very dark place. A lot of messy, a lot of dirty and a lot of darkness. And when you're fighting all by yourself and I am going with all that, I think that is, this is the kind of like the toughest part in my life journey so far. And like any challenge I just cannot even imagine is just, I'm like struggling and fighting at this time. And the best thing I feel is at least, you know, I have this community. I just feel so, I just do not have the worst. And how I like, I was looking for like this coaching thing since almost like six months. And I was just getting these people who just train as ICF coaches, this, that. And I just felt like this. See, I cannot afford that much. I mean, there are a lot of things I didn't want to go. And this thing just, I don't know how, how I, I don't know. It was, it, it was so surprising and so amazing for me that I was not using even the LinkedIn. And the day I started using LinkedIn and I just got your profile and I just went on. I mean, that was something so amazing and I'm feeling so happy about it. So, well, there's a lot, but yeah, I, I am so happy and I feel I just can go, I can take it easy and I can explore my options and I can just go you um, know, one step at a time, maybe. To continue with the example that I was mentioning, because I believe the second part is equally important for you. Um, so there was a mother and a kid 
you know maybe going for a walk through a park and the kid saw that there was a cocoon who was trying to break in like trying to break from the inside and like a butterfly was trying to come out and he went on and like he quickly broke the cocoon shell so that it's easier for the butterfly and then his mother said that's one of the worst things you could do for the butterfly at that point the butterfly's wings need to go through that struggle to be strong to be strong enough in this world so that struggle that you're going through i don't want to romanticize it you don't need to you know have struggles all the time but sometimes especially when something you're doing is very new considering you are into this coaching world for like one month it makes sense to have a lot of struggle it makes sense and you could struggle with the struggle like give yourself that kind of a frustration and pain like oh my god why am i struggling why am i not strong like you could have those thoughts or at the same time you could be accepting that something new it's part of the process it's going to happen and it's going to go away and i know what process i need to follow considering you are in such a great community with us right now right time i hope this was helpful to you chari yeah